been sausage. He's posted another video? I don't understand. Pokemon card game. This box is a very nice box. I have bought this mainly for the box. Look at this gorgeous box. Did I mention box, 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 box? What sound does a chicken make? Box, 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 box. We have all these color block Pokemon without any real line art, all celebrating together on the front. Uh, sword and shield celebration, might I add. Yeah, so this box, exclusive to 7-Eleven. Uh, the 7-Elevens over in Japan are clearly a little more advanced than the ones we have here in Australia. I think this would have came out towards the end of 2019. Here we go, Pokemon 1995, 2019, silhouettes of the three starters. Now, what is in this piece of garbage? Let's take a look. First of all, we have some sleeves. Ooh, some exclusive sleeves to this box. Of course, you know, I have a brain disease, so I do collect sleeves. Up next, we have a fire starter deck, a Victini deck. Now, you probably remember this V5 fire starter deck uh, from one of my other videos. So I'm hoping there is a slight difference with this. I have read online that this is a limited edition version of this deck, but I'll be the judge of that. Make sure you stick around. We do have a bunch of different cool things to open and see today. Okay, so this looks like a regular Victini V. In the bottom corner, we have SA003-023. All right. I'm gonna need to put on my detective goggles. Okay, so when I opened up that black pentagon, it contained all of these decks here. You could either buy that, or you could buy the individual one that you wanted. So I also got the individual full boxed one. So we have the same thing here. Let's see if this is any different. <laughs> Da, 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 inspect the gadget. This looks the fucking same. Ah! All right, here we go. I think the internet lied to me. Do you see any difference? I do not. I was thinking maybe if we went to the corner, it would have a little bit of a different categorization and then the holographic might be slightly different, but it's the whole thing's the same. Thanks for wasting my time, Victini. This is where I've been keeping some of my promos. I haven't made any effort to put all of them in there, but these fellas don't deserve a hard case. They're going in the promo folder. Yes, that is a weak effort. Okay, well, anyway, here you go. Couple of cards that you probably have seen before. Thanks for watching. Okay, so, we have this full deck here, which actually, wait a minute, I still haven't compared the decks. Maybe this is what makes them different. This is gonna be interesting. And before we go on, here is the gorgeous Score Bunny coin, which we have two of today. Okay, so first of all, we have this rabbit on the front. Then we're going to take the rabbit off and we go straight into a Volpix. And we're going to put it down. We're going to do some inspections on this stack right here. So, obviously we have the holographic rabbit on the front, but who's behind it? It's Volpix! Okay, Volpix, let's maybe, maybe we'll go to the trainers. The trainers might be different. So this is the first trainer, and then we'll go... With this one, we rush through them all, and the first trainer, oh, yeah, they're identical. That is it. That is it. Well, I guess it's more true than ever now. The box is the best part of the purchase. Uh, sleeves are a nice bonus, but there's nothing else in here. So, we're going to move on to some much cooler things, some better eye candy, these are promos that were given away at 7-Eleven to customers who purchased a copy of Pokemon Sword and Shield between November 15, 2019 and January 15, 2020 uh, as like a an early purchase incentive. Much nicer than the box. We've got uh, all the boys on there and this strange kind of sparkly effect, which I've always thought kind of looks like a fake card effect. But what do I have in all these other black packs? Of course, more Pokemon 7-Eleven exclusive promo cards. And another one. 
And another one! And if you bought the double pack of Sword and Shield at 7-Eleven, you would be given two copies of this card. Man, that sucks. I'm really bummed out about the contents of that box. Uh, we're going to now move on to doing our Burning Shadows for the day. If you are new here, I do open up a Burning Shadows every single episode, or I, at least I try to, to try to get this Rainbow Charizard that I've been tracking for surely years now. Here's a Gloom, here's a Seedra, here's a Wimpod, Togedomaru, we've got a Sork, a Muddy Horse, an Oddish, a Strolling Meowth, and do we have anything special on the end? No, we have a, a holographic Palo Sand. All right, what else do we have on today's episode? Some more deck sleeves. Oh boy, the most boring thing to collect. Uh, I think this is art off one of the Japanese sets. And then we have, this one is actually pretty cool. This absolutely massive Charizard. I think there was a few products around that that I missed when I was taking my break. And then we have a double up. Here's another code card. Here is the promo that I always get out of that blister pack, a Meowth. Now let's get even more sad. Collectible card boxes. Oh yeah, pretty cool. Different bit of artwork on the back, I guess. And then uh, close up of the Charizard. This is, this is reaching levels of depressing. I didn't think I could go. Merry Christmas. All right, I've gone further. I've been opening up Christmas presents from Santa since Christmas, and we're still going. Merry Christmas, frosty Christmas. Wow, awesome. Doesn't that just make you feel the Christmas joy? Oh, it's a two-piecer. What's on, oh, right. No, it's not. This sucks, why is everything so junk? Let's, can't go wrong with another Burning Shadows. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll open up two more Burning Shadows today. Here's another code card. Here is another holographic Meowth. Here is the coin that you get from the box. And let's try our luck. I need to do another really big opening soon, I think, of this product. One, two, three to the front. It's gonna suck when they stop printing uh, Burning Shadows and I want to continue doing this and I need to pay more for a booster box or for these blisters. The reason I'm doing these three pack uh, blisters is because Supposedly, uh, the pull rates are a little higher or a little more random. The problem with doing uh, the booster packs out of the booster box is once you pull the hyper rare, you know the rest of the packs cannot have Charizard. So it kind of just makes them immediately worthless to me. We have a Guzma, very nice. Super Scoop Up, Plumeria, Oddish. We've got a Dabbing Duskull. We have an Esper, a Morlul, Porygon, a Lucario, Reverse, and on the very end, it's been a while. It has been a while. All right, you guys know what it's time for. Max Mofo's Postcard Collection! It's the segment where I open up postcards. Apparently, this one was a gift where I bought a ton of different postcards and they threw this lot in for free, I assume? Let's have a look at one, two, three, four for today. So it's a little bit of a lackluster episode. So this first one. We've got some nice flowers there. Let's flip this sucker around. Okay, it's the grass type Pokemon. It's Bulbasaur fucking a watermelon. Very, very interesting. Oddish is not having any of that. I can see why this one was a gift. The dude took a shit on it before sending it. That's nice. Up next, I think we have uh, a Pikachu one. This one is from Ban Presto. We opened a Ban Presto one up last episode. Flip it around. Ooh. Yes, I like the glossy ones. Let's dance! Next, we... Let's dance, baby! At least these ones are all themed, I okay. No, yes? Let's dance again! The sequel! I like how, uh... <laughs> You got Diglett over here vibing out hardcore. It's the first Pokemon I think I've seen enjoy Jigglypuff's music. Doesn't everyone always hate it? But I guess it puts people to sleep, so it must be good. Or maybe because that's because it's so boring. I think I remember reading something like it puts out a frequency which obviously puts them to sleep. It's like the attack. But Jigglypuff actually tries to perform and then gets upset that everyone falls asleep during her performance. Okay, let's open up our postcard. Man, this thing is... 
Getting pretty big. Slide Chikorita, Slide Blossom, Slide in Jigglypuff, Slide in Bulbasaur. There we go. Okay, that's enough for today. You know what? I'll do one more Christmas present. I really want to get through these. What could this be? Very, very small. Okay, this is just garbage. Just fucking, just trash. Who wants this shit? Just make them pins. If you go to school with this shit hanging off your bag, you deserve to be shoved in a locker. No, I'm sorry, that's cruel. I'm sure some of you kids love bag hangers and Pokemon keychains. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to support me by buying any of my merch, the link is at the top of the description below, or you can go to max.shirts with a z.cool. If you buy anything else from that website that is not my merch, when you go to check out, make sure you type in mofo to save 10%. That also helps me out. Let me know below what you think about my postings. Let me know below what you think about my posting schedule. I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm still a little bit scared to end a video saying I'll see you guys in two days. So I'm just going to stick to I'll see ya when I see ya.